Right, back again with the latest project. Uh, I've been trying to look for a decent um, transistor that will run a Bedini motor at low voltage. And I tried loads. I built a circuit where I could just plug them in and play, and uh, provided that everything was uh, good on the uh, meter collector and base side, but. Yeah, I, I plugged and played, and lo and behold, I come across one uh, transistor that was really good and uh, really efficient, works at a really low voltage. And um, yeah, I've got a couple of supercapacitors in line, and this is running off a USB now. So um, <coughs> the uh, you know, it just keeps the power quite good, quite even, and stores a little punch. Um, the transistor is a C3807, that's the new one, and here's the schematics. Now I'm using a diode in line with this at the bottom, as you can see, and uh, that prevents any back EMF going into your computer this is for using it for a USB but uh, that transistor is absolutely perfect um, I'm not sure what uh, input voltage it will go up to but as you can probably know about this Bedini motor as the voltage goes up there's an exponential rise in output voltage so uh, yeah it's, it's pretty crazy um, you know, I've, I've seen up to 300 volts charged into a capacitor. Obviously, it's milliamps, microamps, or whatever, but the energy was there. So, um, yeah, it's pretty incredible. But again, um, it's just a Bedini motor. The rotor itself is a old video cassette um, rotor you know that's all it is I've even got the magnet still left inside but you can see here and normally what I found and it was quite lucky that I, f I discovered this but um it wouldn't actually start unless I give it two turns or three you know so it seems to need to charge the coil up in order for it to um you know you know start working properly and it and it you know there's a noticeable effect so if I had missed that I would have thought that, that was rubbish as well that transistor but um, it turns out that it was quite good as long as you give it enough of a spin to get a little charge up in the coils and I've used you know as you can probably see there's three magnets there's actually three magnets in there one really small thin one uh, connecting to the to the rotor itself, a bit of blue tag, and then two disc magnets on top of that. So there's quite a powerful little field in there. And um, yeah, again, normally all it takes is one turn, and up she goes. But uh, yeah, the supercapacitors are quite good. Like I said, they give it quite a whack. But the main thing is, and these capacitors that are in line with a with a 12 volt car battery which is actually being charged <coughs> over here we've got the, all that's left of the input voltage so I suspect this might be using just a volt or something I don't I really don't know maybe 3 volts or if the USB is about 5 volts or mine's not mine was 3.2 the last time I checked so I really don't know what's going on there. Maybe it's got a capacitor on the output or something of the USB that actually needs to charge up as well. But um, there you go. That's, this is the output voltage, and that'll be rising. If I had the solar panel on, it'd be giving it much, much more energy input. And again, I don't know what this transistor can go up to. I'll have to check the the um the um data sheet and just to find out the how many watts it can take or how many amps but again it works perfectly and uh, there's a schematic so I'll leave you with those and uh, have fun
be safe and thanks for watching